From close guard, let's look at how to counter that push pull show. You don't have to use it as a counter, right? You can be in someone's guard, even though in jiu-jitsu we're always saying, yeah, pass the guard, open the legs. Once you get the legs open, pass the guard. Don't attack from the guard. And, but if you do this choke right, you won't get armbarred, okay? Um, when we were doing the counter in the last move, Carl made this grip and I made sure I come over. So if he went for the arm bar, he has to let go of the right arm, all right? Which means when he goes for the arm bar now, he can get this arm out. If I decide just to go for the choke without his hand on the collar, and I just do this, I have an open elbow on my left arm, which means if he swings his leg over my head, bosh. But look, think about the foot stay bro. What does he need to get the arm bar? What does his right leg need? Yeah, profile, yeah. And what happens if that head goes in there? In other words, if I'm here and I start to work the choke, I put my ear in my choke and my bicep. Okay, so, but I didn't address this in the last technique. Placement of this hand, okay? If I put my fist in his throat, it's very easy for Carl to use his right hand to pull this over, or use his left hand to push. If I go slightly deeper, is it up bro? Is it your head? He can lean back with his head and do the same thing. Now he can push and pull. But, if I bring it right into that little nook and I cover it with, my, with the lapel and kind of hide it, it's very difficult for him to do that defense now. Okay. Now all I need to do is get my knees off the mat and put pressure. But I have an open elbow on my left hand, so when I go to do it, I bring my ear to my tricep. Okay. So how do we counter that? So. Front close guard, car the sides to go for this push full show. Okay. And he's here, and he's doing it all right. He's covered this, he can't get it away. And now, when he lifts his knees off the mat, he glues his ear to the shoulder. Oh, sucks. Okay, and if I try to hit the arm bar, go. There's nothing, hey, there's nothing for my leg to come over. So the arm bar counter doesn't work. Listen, but we need to um, kind of bite a little time and create space. So we don't get choked out. So again, from our position, Carl decides to go for this push pull choke. He puts his ear and his bicep, so there's no way I can arm bar. Then he lifts his knees off the mat. And as it goes for it, I put my feet in his hips and push back on his hips. Now he can't put weight into me. Okay, it's hard for him to finish the choke. Can I hit the arm bar? No, because his ears are. So I'm going to use my left hand and make a wedge. Now you have to be nasty here. So I just place it on his arm and I start to walk it up like a car jack. Once I get his ear away from his shoulder, can you see the profile? Now from here, all I need is this. Okay. Details of finishing the arm bar, it's all about stretch. Okay. So as a blue belt, even a purple belt, I'm with back problems, I never would have went for this arm bar. Why? Because Carl can stack me very easy, bro. Okay. The best way to stop the stack is imagine you're getting out of bed and you're stretching. You're just stretching your body away. I'm not even going to take the arm bar here, try to stack, bro. That's all I'm doing. Getting out of bed, bro. Straight to stack. And then I have the arm. Okay. Do that again. So, Carl's in the guard. He decides he's going for this push pull choke. He's doing everything right. He put my feet in his hips. Now, if he see the way he's went really high this time, a lot of people won't go to, go to their feet to drop down again. All right, to finish it, they'll just lift their knees off the mat and just put weight on me. That's good. But this time, you back or go to your feet. I fill that space and watch. He put my feet on his hips. He put his right on his feet. Very hard for me to get the arm bar. Why? 
There's so much space here, and my feet's on his, on, um, on his hips. So I engage my hips, and I bring my hips under his armpit. But now I don't have this profile. So my left hand, the way it'll come inside, I'll start to swim it up and make a frame. Now there's a profile, just turn slightly, and then I'm swinging my leg over the head. I want to make sure the thumb's pointing up. This other leg comes over, and now I stretch away, pinch my knees, curl down. So my first defense, the first thing I'm going to be doing is feet come on the hips. And I engage my hips and fill that space. Okay. So from there, sometimes what happens is I start to make this wedge. And maybe I can't get under. Okay. Char's really keeping his, his head down. But look, from there, I can attack this arm. Why? It's not under my arm. See the way, or, sorry, it is under my arm. See the way it's under my arm? So I couldn't make that wedge. I'm trying to get in. He's doing this. I just move my body. Now I can cut this angle. So I'm in. I may have taken the other arm. Does that make sense? And again, to stop the stack, just stretch. Stack me room. I just stretch my body away. Make sure I pinch my knees. Heels curling down. I have that. Car tries to defend, I can cut the angle, and I'll take it on this one. Making sure the thumbs up, pinch my knees, make my hips. Okay, just play with that guys, but the important detail is we got hips.